I went up to shake hands with someone very senior. He completely ignored me. I stood there, embarrassed, blank and confused of what just happened. I thought I had all figured it out until I landed in Ghana. My real journey began there. I still remember I was attending a local event. I was a little nervous, but I went up to shake hands with someone very senior. He completely ignored me. I stood there, embarrassed, blank and confused of what just happened. Later, a friend told me, in Ghana, there's a custom. You can't shake hands directly, be it a senior person or junior. You need to start shaking hands from the right side and greet everyone, irrespective of their age, rank, social status, and then reach the person you want to reach. It was a deep sign of culture and custom, which I had unknowingly broken. That moment hit me. I was in a completely new world and I had so much to learn. I started noticing every little cultural nuance. In the course of my tenure there, I knocked countless doors, faced setbacks and days when I was completely lost. But I didn't give up. Slowly, I built relationships, learned from my mistakes and adapted to new surroundings. So much so that eventually Ghana felt like my home. I got a local name, Kojo. Fast forward years later, I was standing on a stage, handing out awards at the Media Africa events. I looked at the crowd and thought, wow, how did I get there? From that clueless training, struggling from a handshake and giving awards at a major event, all in the same country. It was unbelievable. I felt, wow, I have come a long way. This was happiness and it was a journey. How could I not be grateful to all the people who helped me along this way, who mentored me, groomed me, taught me and showed me the way forward. This wasn't about moving a country or advancing my career. It was about embracing the unknown, stepping outside my comfort zone and discovering what I was really capable of. And throughout, it was RPG and KEC that was the backbone, allowing me to fail, waiting for me to get up and chin up.